Hello, I'm Rob Hirschfeld, CEO and co-founder of RackN, and this is a presentation about solving the challenge of distributed infrastructure. Because at RackN, we help companies with their infrastructure no matter where it is. Let's talk about that. What we hear from our customers is very clear. They have too much infrastructure and too little control. That doesn't mean they want less infrastructure. It means that they have infrastructure in all sorts of places at the edge, on site, in colo, on premises, in the cloud. What they really want is they want to have a more unified way to increase the control of this infrastructure. I'm your guide, Rob Hirschfeld, through this uh, presentation, and I've broken it into three parts so you can jump to the part that you feel like is most appropriate. In part one, this section, we're gonna be talking about the intro and approach of how Racken solves this huge distributed compute problem. Then we're gonna dive into the technical details of how we've solved it. And then finally, we're gonna have a demo. So before you think about anything else, it's important to ask yourself, why is infrastructure so hard? And what we see is that while companies have many types of infrastructure, they don't have a consistent way to solve that problem. It's all fragmented, it's distributed, it's unpatterned. They keep reinventing solutions to problems for every type of infrastructure they have. And that means there's a huge amount of operational complexity and we see that as a really significant problem. RackN approaches this with distributed infrastructure management technologies and processes. And our success cycle is a proven approach that takes infrastructure as code into very depths of solving these problems with you at your company. And the number one thing for us is we're not trying to create a single infrastructure, have you move everything to one cloud or move everything off of the cloud or buy only one type of server. That's really not what the solution is. What we are working to do is reduce complexity without requiring uniformity of a solution. And it's important to note here that RackN is not a service provider. We're not a hosting provider. We're not a data center company. We are a software company. So when we help you solve this problem, it's your operational control at all times. The RackN success cycle is something that we have evolved over nearly a decade of work that involves infrastructure as coded at its very heart and then it creates a positive feedback loop where things that you've captured and processes that you've improved move throughout your organization in a consistent, repeatable way. And even better, come back into community where appropriate, and then you benefit from the industry's improvements in distributed infrastructure and automation as a whole. That means the infrastructure as code can start the cycle. We've codified and documented our best practices put them into modules as code so that you can use them more easily. Some of this is plain up technology where we figured out how to do things in a consistent, predictable way. Some of it is actually process leveraging where we have learned the right pattern or the right approach to do things. In some cases there's two or three right ways to do things and we also codify that. This isn't forcing everybody to conform, it's creating a pattern in which we can repeat success. From there, our provisioning automation workflow system, what I think of as a provisioning abstraction layer, allows you to manage your site completely. You create a fully autonomous site with everything possible automated and put into a system. That ends up documented as infrastructure as code, which allows you to repeat the success across every site that you have, where there's variations between your sites because it's different types of infrastructures or different locations, we have accommodated that in the designs. From there, you can repeat the success across your distributed infrastructure. Our technology has specific distributed infrastructure components, and that is exactly what we're gonna be talking about in the next two sections, that enable you to be successful repeating your patterns and taking success from one site across your entire infrastructure. And this is by design. We started at the hardest part of this equation, working from the bare metal up, because we knew that if we solve that problem, everything we built on top would be stronger. Now that doesn't mean we're a bare metal only company, we work with VR, VMs and cloud also, but when it comes down to running your data center, we can go as deep as you need to go. 
and we've solved the bare metal automation problem. At this point, we're in customers with global spanning data centers running tens of thousands of systems, and we also have plenty of five and 10 server customers also. But when we walk into a data center, we are confident that while we might not have seen every piece of gear on the planet, we have consistently been able to bring every type of gear into a consistent, repeatable pattern so that deployment can be fully automated in a way that allows rack in to help customers repeat that pattern of success. That means that you always get the benefit of our expertise and our involvement in building better operational data centers. This is all based on our, our infrastructure as code system. Uh, it's built deep into Digital Rebar, our product, and it allows us to build a comprehensive catalog of of components and modules that you can pull in to build your data center. Now, our customers often add and extend to this. They don't have to put it back in the catalog. We're not designed that way. It's always modular. So when you extend the system, you have the choice to keep that as something internal or work with us to bring it back into the community so that other people can take advantage of it and that you get to take advantage of continued improvement across many customers. What we have found, and the reason this is so important, is that if every customer was collaborating a little bit more, we would all improve because distributed infrastructure is the operator's reality. And when you're trying to create a consistent operational experience across your entire IT estate without the right tooling, it's hard to control, it's hard to change, it's hard to predict what's gonna happen in your infrastructure. And that makes it slow and expensive. And we don't see that as acceptable. Our customers have told us very clearly that they want a consistent IT estate across all of their IT infrastructures. They don't want to care if it's cloud or VMs or physical colo on premises or an edge site with specialized hardware. That doesn't work. Business owners get frustrated because each system is different and they can't create a single view. They don't know what's going on. They can't, and technical owners are overwhelmed because frankly, they have to spin up new skills every time they walk into a new infrastructure site or type. And that's not a sustainable pattern. It's always interesting and useful to pause for a second. While we've been talking about heterogeneity between sites and different infrastructures as different cloud types or different site types, we also address heterogeneity inside of an individual site. We don't force people to buy a single type of hardware, or run a certain a specific OS. Um, that's really not how this problem is solved. By embracing the fact that different infrastructure is different at the site level and at the multi-site level, we actually solve a bigger problem, which is this consistent IT estate. The way we solve this is not through centralized control. There's a lot of vendors out there who are going to sell you or try to convince you that you should tether your data centers to their centralized system, and that will solve all problems. And it does for that vendor because they increase their portfolio, but it's very difficult to create things that fit your IT needs out of this model. Also, they have to penetrate your firewall, you have to give up keys and control, and frankly, this is very difficult to scale in a reliable way. Our strategy is to work with our customers to have a decentralized management model where they maintain control. And what we've heard very clearly is that choice I want to choose my vendor, I want to choose my infrastructure type, I want to choose my infrastructure location and requirements, and then control that and may keep my team in the loop and responsible and keep the secret data and the protected information I have under my control. And then do that in a consistent way. So I don't have to reinvent how to manage a server because it's from a specific vendor or add a new vendor and not have to worry about changing all of my processes as a consequence. These three things together are really the essence of what ca we've captured with the rack and success cycle. And that's a really important part of creating this positive feedback cycle. And at the end of the day, that's really what we're talking about. It's always about how do we take the data center that you have and the choices that you wanna make and then allow you to improve your operations day after day after day. That means codifying best practices, 
and lessons learned in infrastructure as code, feeding that into your one site or test sites so that you can validate that everything works, and then having a consistent, clear way to replicate that success across all of your infrastructure. That's a lot. That's really important. So in our next section, we're going to discuss the technical details of how RackN has achieved this technical feat.